Well, if we might, uh, if we might get started so we can uh, move, move this along. We've got a lot of material to cover. My name is Phil Lopez, and I'm the uh, uh, Tucson chapter coordinator for the Progressive Democrats of America. Uh, and I welcome you here tonight, and thank you uh, to, uh, for attending this fall general membership meeting of Progressive Democrats of Tucson. Um, I'd like to first uh, make some introductions of the people that are uh, critical in keeping this chapter of PDA going. Uh, and they are the members of, of our steering committee. Uh, I thought I saw Eve Shapiro back there. See that? Eve Shapiro's back there. Uh, Chuck, Chuck Katzenberg's not here. Chuck Kaufman, I know, is not here. Rick Grapp. Rick, would you raise your hand and say hello? Uh, Pam Powers, would you say hello? Barbara Warren, back in the back. And Rich Brodesky. Um, if, if you would pick up uh, uh, a car on, on the, at the end, table at the entrance or the PDA table back there, uh, there's a little card there that explains what PDA Tucson is, and the email addresses of all of the steering committee members are on that card, so you can you can contact them. I'd also like to recognize uh, all the people in the room, if you would stand, please, who are participating in one of our issue organizing teams. If you would please stand and be recognized, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Before I introduce our, our first presenter and a couple of guests, uh, I want to just give you a brief uh, report of what the PDA Steering Committee has been up to since the last time we met. Um, we sponsored, sponsored an event at uh, uh, Speedway and Campbell uh, honoring Medicare's birthday. We have supported, in several ways, Occupy Tucson. Uh, we are about to, to, uh, to finish a letter to the Democrats on the city council uh, asking them to uh, change their behavior in the way they deal with Occupy Tucson. Uh, we held an event at Congressman Grijalva's office uh, thanking him uh, for his efforts on our behalf, especially as his, in his position of the co-chair of the Progressive Caucus. We also uh, sent out an email to all our 800 plus members, uh, giving them some very specific ways that they can, they can assist and support and nurture uh, Occupy Tucson. Um, you will, you will soon, thank you. You will soon be getting a, a, a communication from us uh, uh, asking you to take your money out of banks and put it in a credit union, and we're going to be uh, giving you all the information we have in that regard. And there's some flyers back there. Uh, Wade, where are you? You were just here. There you, there you is, right there. Wade Sherbrooke has, has some flyers. Uh, that uh, it's, it's most of the information that we'll be sending you. Um, we are, we are collaborating with efforts uh, to uh, uh, ask the city of Tucson to sign a resolution uh, supporting the amend to suspend efforts. That's an amendment to the U.S. Constitution that would essentially nullify the Citizens United case. So we're, we're, we're working with other people who are doing that. And there's a gentleman in the back who represents that effort. Um, We've, we've met with uh, MoveOn.org, Border Action Network, uh, New Priorities Network, at our steering committee members uh, meetings. Uh, we have 830 members of our chapter in Tucson. It's, it, it's, if it's not the largest chapter in the country, it's one of the largest chapters. So we're very proud of that. Um, we, we have a blog. And we now have a Facebook, that's the, the addresses are also on the card, uh, and we are uh, very happy, thanks to Pam Powers, for doing that. 
So the, 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 the agenda tonight is we're going to, uh, after I introduce a special guest, we're going, to enter, we're going to hear from Pam Powers with a brief overview of the job creation uh, situation in Tucson. We're then going to hear for a few minutes from Congressman Grijalva. He always honors us with his presence, and we very much appreciate it, uh, on the same topic. Um, then we're going to have uh, uh, a panel discussion. Uh, I, will, I will introduce those panelists uh, at, at, at that time. But before we go any further, we have a special guest that I would like to introduce, introduce and recognize. Winona Benali Baldenegro is the PDA endorsed congressional candidate in Stephen she, she is down here in Tucson tonight and asked to come and be introduced. So uh, PDA nationally is endorsing um, three or four uh, uh, new candidates and a number of, of incumbents. Uh, all of those lists will be distributed uh, in, a, in a timely fashion. Needless to say, Congressman Vidal's name will be very much on the top of that list. Uh, 